Hold on, hold on. We are here now going to visit, visit a shot in here. Yeah, there you are. Still, we are still in the Maxfield community. So we still do the things them, and I make the things them known. Yeah? Yeah. What? Me not no tissue. No. No. You don't have nothing. You don't have no tissue to drink. You want some drink? This a, a shot in here at the room in the Maxwell Park Park community. You know sweet drink it. Uh, Philip Crescent. This is a part of the feeding program here. Let me go next door there so now Delroy. Yeah. Yeah. So that was Delroy yeah. receiving his yeah. good good up, good up, good up, good up, good up, good up. Delroy good up. Spence. Yeah. Good up, good up breakfast from the group from ladies in at rise. Yeah, ladies at rise, Phillips Crescent. So we have a big strong virgin here where we are treating them. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Walk and talk and meet the people. Yeah. 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 So we go next door. We make a little chop off and think. Feeding program. Yeah, All right. Yeah, to drink and something. We are here another 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 shot in here. So So here we at another shot in. Receiving our meal. Recipient is unexposed at this moment. So we have to just keep we have to just keep it good. One more? No we know, no we know. This is in the Maxfield area, Maxfield area, I should say, where the shut-in have been fed here as part of the feeding pro program. Drinks there to the shot in here along Phillips Crescent. Thank you. 
And we have come to the end of today's activity and today's breakfast, breakfast program for the elderly put on by Ladies on the Rise here in the place called Rome in the heart of the Massville community and it's also of Massville Avenue up Philip Philip Crescent. This is Dudley Thompson for Roots FM and also WDTV the TV. Must say thanks there to Yard Vibes TV. Thanks to Yard Light li there from Yard Vibes TV, who is in the house as well. Bits of lies there from Yard Vibes TV yeah. in the house. Yeah, chat up the things there. Come in, Ed Cook. Take a group pick. Take a nice group pick. And yet, again, the head cook and the bottle washer for today's activity. Tell us, uh, Miss Miss Francine Holmes. How many persons did you um, actually fed today? Alright, so today we did about 60 persons. We actually did about 60 persons today, which is good. As I said, each week it increases. Week after next, hopefully we can get to do 70 or the same amount. But we never go under 60 persons. As I said, it's always between 50 to 70 persons. We do every other week. So donations are welcome. Cash are kind. My number again, 866-6321. You can call me. You can even call Ruth and ask for Mr. Thompson. You will get the thing store. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Be the presentator coming to serve and Dudley Thompson. More love to you, brother. Yeah. Uh, any email address? P the, yes, the email address P U I C. Gmail.com. Okay, okay. So we need going to we're going to have to pick a nice little group pick over there. So we just everybody see team of four. We think that three must be team of four. No, this is Mr. Hooper. You want the musketeer? Yeah, I want the most. Okay, a team. Yeah. One of the 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 One of the musketeers is the one who normally does the serving for us, yes, so by yeah. the time we finish the cooking and stuff, we call him and he does the delivery to the shutting. The person right? who can walk. Right. Persons who can walk. Sometimes I use my daughter. She's right here to help. Anybody we can get in the community is willing to help, we ask them to come and help. As I said, it's voluntary work. Okay. Nothing that we're getting paid for or anything like that. Just trying to get the community on a level. Okay, okay. So people, for the last time and the first time, Yard Vibes TV, I bring positiveness, togetherness. So big up on yourself, the four musketeers in our room. <laughs> oh, and before we go, I would like to thank um, what we call our Shopee. I want to thank Shopee for lending us our pots and stuff. I want to thank the person, Stacy. <laughs> For lending us some uh, pots. Is Stacy here? No, she's not here. Okay. But one thank Stacy for lending us our pots. One thank Yvette for lending us our stove and catching up the fire for us. <laughs> we want to thank Roots 96 FM. We want to thank Yard Vibes. Yeah. I want to thank my team, the Musketeers. The three mus right. the four Musketeers. The Musketeers, right? Karen, right. Mr. Upa, Kerry, and everybody else who makes it possible for all of these things to happen each and every other week. Trust me, as I said, it's a community event. We try to do it, and we definitely want it to be bigger, bigger and better. We want to get Rome out there on the map. Tired of the stereotype, we're tired of the negativity. We're trying to get Rome, we're putting Rome out there. So persons can come in, visit our community, and see that it's not just negative things alone. Positive things happening in Rome. See artists then. We have a lot of musicians, we have dancers, we have a whole heap of people in Rome. So we're trying to get persons to come in. So we have Energy Kid over Senior. there, the famous dancer there on the Vital. bike. Vital as an artist. So we have a lot of personalities Vital in there. Vital as an artist. Like we have so. artists there. So we have another artist there. One community. We're trying to get things up yeah. and running. Our next step is to get a, a shop.
shed where we can do a look for cooking. We started the foundation. We're still asking for donation for that so we can stop cook out in the open and get one of the so How far is that shed? The shed is right here around the car. Who wanna look for it? And it's the foundation. We started the foundation. So they want some assistance to finish um, this area so they can do their outreach right here. And they started the foundation here. The foundation here, and again, here again from Miss Francina Holmes. Tell me about the plan now for this area now. All right, so actually, what we want to do is to have a little resource center because you know, based on our community, we don't have an internet cafe anywhere near here. Mm. The closest internet cafe is actually in Crossroads. So if you don't have any bus fare, you have to go walk across Crossroads. I know sometimes kids come home in the night. Yeah. So we're trying to get a homework center where we can get some computers, we can get Wi-Fi, but we need some assistance to have this done. Right? The ministry, we had a competition that we had in town. We got $30,000. So we did the, the, the basic foundation that you see there, but we need some more help to get it up and running. So anyone who is interested, as I said, if you, do, if you don't have cash, you can just donate your time. If you're a mason, if you have some sand, if you have some gravel, anything you want to give us, anything that will help us to transform the community. So because it's positivity, education, we're feeding the homeless, as I said, erasing the stigma that is attached to Rome. Trying associated in Rome and not just negativity alone. So we're trying to put the community out there. A newly, a newly built bridge in the community? No, it was something that was um, the councillor had fixed the bridge recently because it was damaged, yes. broken down. So he had actually fixed it for us because, you know, we can't have children um, hurting themselves. So we had the bridge fixed at this point. So we have to give them thanks for that. So it needs to be painted now and all of that, but thank God it's up and running. So this is one aspect that has been sorted out. Yeah. So, this is the bridge now in the community. So this is the um the Rome, they call the football field or the recreation ground. Yeah. Where they, the guys here play football here yeah. on a daily basis. Right, right. We want to have a football league sometime in November here. So we're still asking for donations and contributions. Mm And here is the restroom. That's what and the water that we have so far. So as I said, community development. We're trying to get that done so that we can have um, water for our homes and all of that. So we don't have to come here to get water. But we can wake up and get water from our house. So as I said, it's a work in progress. We have a council who is willing to help us, but we need other persons to come and do it and help us. And that's it now here from Rome. They can see now the pots and pans are all packed up for the next two weeks. This is Rome. <laughs> this is Rome, all right, in the masculine community, and lots of positive are taking place in this place called Rome 
end of Maxfield area. This is Dudley Thompson for Roots FM and WDTB TV and Yard Vibes TV is also in the house.